Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams Tutorial Series, you will learn how to create butterfly diagram in PowerPoint. The simple butterfly diagram you will learn to create today looks like this. A butterfly diagram is usually used to talk about two sides of an argument. So you have, I have given two color codes to talk about two uh, different sides of an argument. You can actually have them colored the way you want. Because the diagram looks like a butterfly, the diagram is given the name as butterfly diagram. And let us see how to create this simple diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. The first thing we are going to do is to draw a circle. So let's go to basic shapes and use this oval tool. Right click and draw a small circle. Now I'm not going to make this circle too big because this is only going to hold a small amount of text like the one that you have, that I've just uh, written here. Maybe if you want to increase the font, you can increase it to 20. Now I'm going to give this a color, maybe format and I can go to green color here or, or maybe red color and go to shape effects preset and I can use this one called as preset 2. Now that I have one of these uh, circles formatted, I can have copies made of the same circle. What I have done is I pressed the control button while I dragged this shape to a new location. So that is what I have done. As you can see here, I have created three of these circles. I can choose to have them arranged in a particular way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all three circles, go to arrange, align and distribute vertically so that there is equal space between these uh, circles. And I want to make sure that they are distributed horizontally as well. So arrange, align and distribute horizontally. Now this is one way. Maybe this is not giving us the kind of uh, effect that we want. So another way to do it is to select these two, go to arrange, align and align left. And once it is done, then you can go in for arrange and align and distribute vertically. So that is another way to make sure that there is a good amount of triangular shape uh, in the way these circles are positioned. Now that it is done, I am going to uh, select all of them, press Ctrl G. The next thing is to connect these three to a central point for which I am going to go to Auto Shapes menu once again and I am going to choose an isosceles triangle from basic shapes menu and I'm going to draw the isosceles triangle. This has to be rotated so go to arrange, rotate and rotate right 90 degrees. Position this in such a way that it is almost touching the edge of uh, the circle, the circles in the front. Now select the previous group and this one and make sure that they are aligned middle so arrange align and align middle now this is done now as you can see you would have always wished to have this to be slightly curved instead of having the straight edge we, we are going to achieve that just now right click go to edit points and if you go to this edge you will see that the cursor changes to a crosshair right click and then instead of the straight segment go to curved segment now you can see it is a curved segment you are always uh, you can always make it curved the way you want I mean I'm just going to stick to the way it looks now that this is done I am going to give a gradient fill to this one right click format shape fill and I'm going to choose gradient fill this gradient fill is the one that we have used in our previous tutorial and that's the reason why it looks like this. I am going to uh, choose one of the regular presets. I am going to remove the stops in the middle. All I have done is to pull out the stops. You can always uh, select the stop and you can go to remove as well. I am just going to have two gradient stops here. The one with the light blue color I am going to have 
as a darker grey color and the one instead of having the white as the as one of the stops i'm going to use a very light grey color now that looks beautiful i'm going to remove the outline and i'm going to send this back and as you can see here one wing of the butterfly is taken care of now i'm going to select all the shapes here and press control g i'm going to make a duplicate by pressing control d and let me go to arrange align sorry rotate and flip horizontal when i flip horizontal i have a mirror image of uh, this group so i have got this way naturally i can go and change the color to maybe green so that it shows another side of the argument now i just need to have a circle in the middle so i am going to select this shape here control c control v that is the shortcut for uh, copy paste i am going to keep this in the middle and i am going to give it a darker gray color and that is it our butterfly diagram is ready let me choose everything and keep it in this in the center this is just something that has titles so i can always go back and bring these uh, text here sorry control z control c to copy go to the next slide and control v and i can stick them in the relevant place maybe i can move them slightly have them right aligned you can make whatever adjustment that you require to make your diagram look exactly the way you want instead of having it here i can just copy this and paste it here and the same thing can be done to the other side as well left alignment and then let us stick these and have it here select all of them and slightly to the left and that is it and maybe i can have something that uh, marks the center one and i have center alignment so that completes the butterfly diagram as you can see here it takes a bit of effort to create diagrams to help you visualize your ideas one way to have visual slides and yet not spend too much time creating the diagrams is to use templates i'm going to show you some example templates taken from our powerpoint ceo packs where we show butterfly diagram and you can also see what kind of variations we can create for butterfly diagram this is the first variation of layered butterfly diagram you can see here the first layer and then the second layer here and you can have a uh, text appearing on click this looks more like a designer butterfly another example is this one where we talk about four points here and you have two layers for each side another example is this one which is about a simple butterfly diagram a little more of a uh, design to attract the audience attention especially when you have some pronounced animations it is it is usually used in self running presentations maybe if you want to create a e learning plat e learning uh, program you can have some exciting animations to engage the audience let me give you the last example of simple butterfly diagram here you can see two sides are shown here and on a click you can have the title coming so that is how we create the butterfly diagram if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at our off the shelf solutions like our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier hope you liked our tutorial on creating butterfly diagram in powerpoint if you want to learn more such tutorials or if you want to read articles to improve your presentation skills and powerpoint skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen now you can visit us at presentation-process.com Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.